What do we have here? Are you aware of the honor we will have by fighting against me? I am Mabo, consort of King Mabo and his personal hitman. My special is finishing the enemy quickly. I know the weak points of all the Pokemon, and I can dispatch them with great ease. If you've managed to defeat me, I'll give you access to one of the King members. But it is totally impossible for you to defeat me. This is this is when you should be actually are you still standing? Well, we'll see what happens in the next few minutes. Welcome back to Pokemon Z. In the last episode, we started taking on the revolution, and now we're taking on supposedly King Mabel's Elite Four. So let us go. Oh, I am so dead. Why are you doing close combat? That's fine. I already used my berry, buddy. Chandelure. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, let's go to Raichu. We got the poison. That is exactly what I needed. I am so dead, though. Interesting he did Shadow Ball. Very interesting. Impossible. How do you evade my You are not a good trainer, my dude. Alright. Memory three. The man Pokemon already continued to be the guest of honor at Lumia Palace. Contrary to what we may think, he was a curious intellect and civilized individual. He was in the library when King Mabel decided to ask him the question that burned most in his heart. I have had the pleasure of reading all these books during the morning. I must admit that producing all this knowledge is a worthy effort, and all to achieve a hundredth fraction of the potential that the human species harbors. Stop pushing your luck with those words and serve us well. His Majesty King Mavo has another question to ask, and if you don't answer, answer truthfully. Yes, yes, I will be brutally tortured for the next 50 years. I'm too old for heroics. I don't want to suffer pain. I hear you, my good king. What do you want to know now? King Mavo orders to know more about the nature of the place where he found you, the Eternal Tree. What exactly is that tree? Where does his power come from? You have asked me the most important question. I will reward such bravery with knowledge with complete sincerity. In your eyes, it is like some kind of tree or perhaps some kind of flower. But when you see, the eternal tree is the vehicle in which my species came to this world. As for its power, inside there, inside it, there is an energy of artifacts capable of modifying the laws of reality, said in a way that you can understand. This artifact was used upon our arrival to establish some basic laws of this world. For example, it allows us to establish how the cycle of life and death works. I built the energy artifact myself, if I might comment. I am a great alchemist, back where I come from. King Mavo affirms that if you are the alchemist of the prology, you will know more about it than anyone else. Order that you leave in writing and in a precise, detailed manner, the construction of such an artifact. Do you ask me to design the plans of something that humanity would not be able to understand even in the next 500 years? How intriguing your ego is. I will gladly and amusingly accept that request. 
And so the man Pokemon R spent the next few months documenting and writing the construction of a replica of the core of the Eternal Tree. And he did it with great pleasure because his innate curiosity drove him to know how far human dare would go. Oh boy! Oh, you look familiar. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. I feel like you're gonna have fighting moves. So let's lead off with Waydeer. Greetings, young contender. As the honorable captain of King Milo's guard that I am, I will show you my greatness. Before you stands Tito and his loyal Pokemon, immovable like a mountain. Do you want to access the secret man buried that I am guarding? Well, you'll have to hit me with all the force you are capable of. No, even more strength than you can. You and your Pokemon have to break the limits in this battle. No, that is not what I was expecting. But right you. You missed. Oh. Ow. 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 Rude. Sylvia. Of course, when my guy's weak. Chess not. Let's lead seed. And draw run. Woo! The badge! Oh, and he had a rocky helmet. Well, that's fortunate. Very cool. Oh, that's easy. That was probably the easiest battle. Or began to get bored. What used to amuse him now bored him. His character became more angry and attacked her. My brave and generous king, are your alchemists still trying to read the construction plans I left you in writing? I already warned you that the effort was futile. Your civilization would have to advance at least another 500 years. At least you are quiet. It is something I've always been grateful for, if you allow me to comment. How annoying the noise of humanity can be. I've always found human beings too interesting, despite being useless. You, King Malvo, I've witnessed how you devastated entire nations to preserve your power, and yet, you do your best to take good care of this garden with its small and innocent flowers. But I think I've been able to find an explanation for this. You feel like the owner of this garden and the flowers in it. Human beings only take care of things to, ha to have control over them. You know, I thought that when I leave this palace, I will turn to the eternal tree. And I think I will modify some laws of this world to leave you completely outside of it. What exactly has the human have contributed? The world will could continually be perfectly in harmony only with Pokemon. Anyway, if I were to regret it, I will just have to bring new humans. Your value is insignificant. Okay! You... you surprised me, my king. I have greatly underestimated your instincts for destruction. But you were wrong. I will not die so easily, but you, mortal, you will soon find the end of your reign. Interesting. That was the end of our strange, illustrious guest. As for King Marvel, he returned to the Eternal Tree with the intention of using its power. But since he couldn't understand how it worked, he ended up destroying it. 
Malval would die shortly after battling the twelve ruling houses of Kalos, and thus ending the days of the gloomy king. Damn! Oh, I don't like this. You, who have conquered the Dark New Jersey, have in your hands the power to remake the world or destroy it. Here lies the keys to life, death, Pokemon, and human beings. Well, the Spuck is the ultimate weapon project. Yikes! Fire, you're back! Does that mean you got it? Ah! Fantastic! Fantastic! File! I knew with complete certainty that you would make it. So, what was in there? What was King Malvo hiding? Have you come across any writings by chance? <laughs> it is her. She is here. It's Alika. Is he capable of causing those jolts of energy just with his presence? But, there are three of us. If you unite, we should be able to defeat her in combat. Fire, you have faced her in a Pokemon battle. If the three of us fought together, would we have any chance? Ooh, he kind of spoke! If Fire thinks not, then not. So what's the plan? Shall we run away? Though we cannot defeat her between the three of us with the strength of our Pokemon, we are still three thinking minds, right? We have to resort to cunning. I have no intention of fighting. Enough blood has been spilled tonight. Give me what you found in there, and we can all go home. Hey, let's go! Wait, this was the only warning. I will crush one last obstacle to reach my goal. Grim Snarl, you Shadow Pulse. Come on, Wiggly Tough, Light Screen! Absol, protection, nuclear, neutralize that attack with all your strength. We all lost for it like this. This attack is too powerful. I'm going to need the two of you to hold them back for just a few seconds, okay? I promise it will only be a few seconds. If you take a Pokemon away from there, we won't have a chance. <laughs> Please trust me, I will act as quickly as possible. Wiggly Tough, use Mega Kick on that container. Oh! You hit it! Nice shot! His body is reacting to the substance. Seems that the expired status could affect humans after all. It's politically fair, isn't it? Now, it will suffer in its flesh the same disease that has caused thousands of Pokemon. How does it feel, Alec? Can you finally emphasize with innocent lives? Unless he finds a miraculous remedy, he doesn't have much time left to do evil. It's a good time to get out of here. That was very interesting. Is there anything new since we went down there? Does not look like it. Oh my goodness, it got so much darker. Wow! It seems that things have not improved much here. I hope Melia is safe. I know the situation is urgent, Fire, but if we could talk about what you found in the chambers. Ah, I finally found it! Melia, are you okay? Yes, Floyd and I are fine, but... Oh, I don't have time to explain. I need you to come with me to the throne room, now! More enemies loyal to the king. Arturo, use Octo Cannon. Fleet, attack with Lunar Force! Jesus! Uh, they've hurt you, Christiana. No, it's nothing. It's only partially to my lady. You go to the throne room. I'll catch up with you when I can. Nothing of that, Monsieur Christiano. Come on, Al, I hope you walk. Let's head to the throne room. I'll stay behind covering the rear of Floyd. Please, hurry up. This 
book, as far as drop it. I'll keep it for you to give back to you when you're safe. Let's head to the throne room. In the throne room. Oh my goodness. No! It's Captain Murloc. This. The revolutionists tried to enter the throne. Murloc fought bravely to defend us. He received an attack from a Pokemon and he was very barely injured. And, and, what a tragedy. Peace to your soul. He was a man of impeccable honor and did high dignity. His memory will not die as long as we live. Father, please. There will be times to cry, but now we have to get out of here as soon as possible. The palace is falling, but we do not have to fall with it. Marlot, you are the best friend a man could have. But now, the world has grown gloomy, and I cannot implore your return before the merciless Yuvelto. I have not been able to protect my home, nor my friends, nor my family. I have not been able to protect anything. My curse is not only that I am capable of king, but I am clearly an incapable human being. Your Majesty, if you still have some lucidity left in your mind, listen to Melia and get out of here now while you still have time. What hope can we expect from the world out there? I am tr I am truly sorry. No more suffering. No more real. We must fall with dignity. Gyarados, use Earthquake. No, no, please! What are you doing? He's gonna bury us all! It is one. One of his outbursts of sadness and anger. Although he's normally a calm man, these outbursts are very dangerous. Shh! My Pokemon don't have the strength to fight! Fire, are you still standing? How bold. Kneel before your destruction. Kneel before your king. Oh, I'm healed. Sweet. Oh, I like this music. Let's go. One down. Gorgeous. Good right, you. Poison jam. Make it. Okay. Royally on. Ooh. Ouch. Voice you right back. Oh, that was easy. I am so weak. It is the end. Her father. Now, yes, the battle is over. Well, why did it have to end like this? Was there no other way? If my mother were with us. My love, please don't give up. You have much more strength inside you than you think. The, the Queen Roselia. Why is she here? She shouldn't be here. Queen Roselita died. She no longer belongs to the world of the living. Something terrible is happening. Ah, it's like when he appeared to me in Vada's town and he gave me strength. So, it wasn't a dream. My love, you were by my side all this time. My beacon, my guiding light. Esther, do you remember when we fought among ourselves? You are always a great Pokemon trainer. You just have to remember that. Trust yourself and your Pokemon, and then there will be no one who can defeat you. Yes, I remember now. Why have I doubted myself so much? The beautiful touch of a Pokeball. The fiery mouth storm in my heart. And that bond. The bond with my Pokemon.
Wow! He just flung us out. Let us fight again, fight. We will show you a strength that surpassed any you have ever known. I am so weak. Oh, I am so dead. Oh, that's fair. Let's friggin' go. That battle actually seemed a lot easier after a while. <laughs> I got very lucky. We did well, right, Rosalita? Well, you, we fought well, right? You all fought better than anyone, Aster. Fire. For helping me discover my strength and worth. I thank you.
No. Father! Don't worry, he just lost consciousness. He has fought fire twice in a row. It is normal. Songs of Victory Their revolution has won. They will want to capture King Aster as a reward. However you want this to end, you have to decide now. Let us go, please. There is a hidden passage in the throne room. We will disappear and try to live in peace. Hit it. What you ask is delicate. The revolution will not be happy until it finds you. You better dress like beggars for now on if you want to remain anonymous. And yet, it would be ethical for the king not to receive any punishment. Master Mir, you are going to leave in peace, and you will do so willingly. He promised on his honor that he would help ensure that they did not suffer harm. We will tell that the king was burned by a Pokemon, and only his crown remained. Yes, it is a small price in exchange for having fin finished off Team Athos. Uh, bye. When all this comes down someday, fire and I will go looking for you. No, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. If you want, I can talk to the revolution. I am known and loved among the common people. They will listen to me. But after that, I will need your help. If we play our cards right, they will guide us, and you will be able to guide them. I already imagined it. It was evident that this was not going to end here. We will have to contribute everything we can to build a better Kalos. Fortunately, no one discovered the escape of King Aster and Melia. And like ghosts, they entered the cold mountains of the Northeast Kalos. Thanks to his people's ghosts, Mira managed to temper the spirits of the revolutionaries. Together with Fire and Cristiano, who led the new government of Kalos in a peaceful manner. However, Something lit and flamed in the heart of King Aster. A terrible anger against a world like he had never felt. Oh boy! A few weeks later. Oh boy! That can't be good. Bonjour, men on fire. I hope you've been able to rest well the last few days. I know you have had a lot of work. I came to inform you that Master Mira is waiting for you in the carriage to embark on a journey towards Romantis City, you know, to negotiate with the regents of that pally place and gain her support for the revolution. Up well, real quick. I think this is the end of the demo, but I'm not sure. That's by for some reason, I lost all of my hypers. All of them. And that's what made the battle so much more difficult. Like, that was not cool. Alright. Onward! Ah, ah fuck. Your help these... Your help these weeks has been invaluable, and I know you want to resume your Poké Tour as soon as possible. But I will need your help one last time. If it's okay with you, we will immediately head to Romasta City for a formal meeting. Little by little, the region of Kalos is recovering its dignity, long prevailed. The common people go to the academies to execute themselves, the nobles give up their privileges, those vermin from Team Athos given their last blows. We still have to find out who seems to have disappeared. Still, the achievements we have achieved are historic. Today, life is good. I invite you to the toast with this good Chateau Merlot wine. I love how my hair changed. There are greater tasks I plan to carry out, Fire. I fear that ending Team Athos will not be enough to stop this hemorrhage of evil. It will be essential to stand firm with any vile alchemy that challenges the harniest order established by Pokemon, wherever it comes from. Those who dare to transcend beyond their nature and defy greater forces commit the greatest sin imaginable. Do you not agree? I forgot that you're not 
who are not a very talkative person, although the poison wine you drank shouldn't help either, right? Five. You found a book in the chambers of the former King Malva, and later you told me that you had lost it during the night of taking of Lumia Palace. Liar. What have you done with that book? Have you given it to that professor of yours, the alchemist Oliver? Or are you going to use it for your own purposes? You think you're strong fire, but you're just a minor piece on a board of major forces. Please, arrest this man. With great pain, I discovered that he was a spy for the royal family. And he was a part of a conspiracy to bring about his return to the throne. The Iron Prison will be a suitable for such crimes. And don't forget to take all of his Pokemon. We will take care of it, Major Fab Mira. It is a shame it had come to this. It's only one more human life. There are many more like him than you think. Oh! Okay! Still, it is commendable that you managed to overcome your feelings of admiration for that person. Without a doubt, I chose a great champion for my cause. And who knows? Maybe if Fire agrees to give us the plans for the weapon, we can spare his life for a privileged time. He will do it. I trust him. Once not only Fire, but everyone discovers the truth nature of the Pokemon world, they will understand perfectly that there is only one possible solution. Oh! Curious note, put a evolutionary ore in his Pokemon to turn it into a real monster. Suck this Pokemon out. Do I have? I do not. Okay. Very interesting. So apparently, Ore from the uh, flashbacks is working with Mira to do something. But that is the end of this beta. This was a great game. I loved it. I can't wait for beta 4 to come out. Actually, I might check into it after I finish this recording. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. With that being all said, I will see you guys in the next playthrough. See you guys then.